everybody, welcome to Attack with Larry C. I'm your host, Larry Christensen, and we're going to talk about uh, softening up operations today in this episode of Attack with Larry C. First, um, this is a rather amusing little combination I saw here going over some recent games, and uh, kind of a nondescript position. This is uh, from a tournament in... in uh, Austria, Graz, Austria, beautiful mountain setting there. I think there's a casino tournament. And this is between Johannes Hatzel White, uh, probably just a club player, his opponent, uh, Grandmaster Axel Bachmann, playing the black pieces. And not too much is happening here. White, after Black's 19th move, I mean, Black has a very comfortable game. But nothing too meaningful here. Let's see how the game continued. Oh, yeah, this is, no, this also reminds me, so many times in a tournament, you're walking around, you see kind of a dull-looking position. And uh, next thing you know, though, maybe you come back five, ten minutes later, that game is over. You wonder, gee, did they, did they agree to a draw? No, uh, one side or the other won by some sudden shot. And that's what happens in this game. Let's see how the game proceeded. Hotzel here looks like he's uh, playing for a draw with the queen f1. Very tight looking move. Um, queen c2 makes sense. Um, not bishop takes knight would not be advisable. That allows black to penetrate e2. With some chances for victory. So Hotzel here plays queen f1. He's envisioning... Something along the lines of queen takes, queen, king takes, knight d2, king g2. Not much is happening in that ending. And here Bachman tries knight d2. And here I think also if black plays queen b6, your rookie white was ready to play rookie one. And he can simplify along uh, his preferred channel. So Bachman tries to... Uh, Spice it up a little bit with knight d2. Now the point being, if queen takes a6, knight takes f3 check, king g2, b takes a6, king takes f3, black when nabs a pawn with rook b8. Now that's a pawn that will be tough to convert, frankly, after b3, bishop takes c3, rook c1. But it is a pawn nevertheless, and clearly black has all the chances. But clearly a very tough technical conversion there. But Hatzel uh, obviously calculated that variation and decided, well, let's, uh, let's keep queens on and consider queen d1. And if knight takes f3 check, queen takes... Rookie two, maybe I can, he can hold out uh, from Black's penetration. Frankly, that's pretty grim too, isn't it? But that's a good, that's a very strong continuation for Black. But the, you see a good move, look for a better one. And Bachman certainly applied that rule and played Rook E1 check. Classic little interference shot. The points, multiple points, being queen takes e1, knight takes f3 check is a decisive material advantage, queen versus rook. Bishop takes e1 leads to immediate mate, queen f1 check. So sudden, this game came to a very sudden, dramatic conclusion. Okay, now the we're going to turn to the subject of softening up operations, and this usually involves employing a pawn as a battering ram to weaken, subvert, uh, remove the defenses of an enemy king position. Here's a great little example from the 2013 